like Gears of War 5 getting dude I literally on Gears 5 I literally had the very rare limited edition Batista skin that they had which was a very very rare skin to get your hands on Like, y'all don't know how much that Batista skin goes for nowadays, man. That shit is worth hundreds. And not just on there. All the hours that I put into working my ass off, getting achievements, buying my own games, doing shit. All that stuff, I now have to start over on. All because of you, William Glory Hole, and your little fucking friends. Because, William, I'm calling you the fuck out, you fucking loser. You're a piece of shit. You're a loser ass faggot that ain't got nothing going for him. You're a fucking bitch made pussy. Unfortunately, no I can't. I sat here for two hours earlier this morning trying to recover it and I can't. There's no way to get it all back. It's literally gone. I have no way to recover it. Somebody broke in, one of Williams guys broke into my account this morning, my main Xbox account, that you guys usually see me game out on and hang out on and have fun with you guys. Yeah, he had one of his guys break in and change everything up. And the only way that I can recover my account is with my phone, and right now, my phone's not working. So I have no way to recover my shit. I did. That's actually what I went through. I sat there for an hour this morning 
trying to go through them and trying to figure out how to get my shit back and they keep sending me the email saying that my stuff's suspended because they don't have enough information. When I gave them every bit of information that I have, I gave them all the correct info. Every little iota of information that they needed, I gave it to them. I gave them my cash app card, my name, all that shit. I gave them everything they needed. My old password that I had, the whole nine. But yet, I get the email back stating that my account has been suspended. No, nope, because according to them, according to Microsoft, I didn't provide enough information. When I gave them every single little bit of information I had. My gamer tag. All that shit. So yeah, I'm basically going to have to start over on every fucking thing. I'm going to have to repurge. I'm literally going to have to go out of my way. And rebuy Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to have to go out of my way. Repurchase COD Modern Warfare 2. And basically everything that I have purchased. I'm going to have to go out of my way and fucking rebuy this shit. And some of the stuff that I actually have in my arsenal on certain games, such as Asphalt 9 Airborne, or Asphalt 9 Legends, uh, Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5, uh, GTA 5, Assassin's Creed, there are so many games where I have rare items that you can't get no more. Hell, on on my original account on Forza Horizon 4, I literally have every car from season one until they stopped updating this year. I have every single DLC car, every single car in that game in my garage. I have DLCs that are worth hundreds of dollars right now. I have skins for different characters and different games that are worth hundreds as well. Like I said, Gears of War 5. The highly sought after Batista skin. I had that. Back when they did the promo for Gears 5 through one of the major WWE pay-per-view events. I managed to get my hands on that shit. There's very few people that actually got their hands on that skin. And I just happened to be one of the few that got their hands on it. All the items that I got from, from TennoCon, from the Warframe Comic Cons over the last few years, all that shit, down the drain, gone. Finito, sayonara. I'm literally having to start over from ground zero on everything. Oh, I know, dude. I had a lot of Prime Warframes. I had a lot of shit on there that is very hard to get your hands on. Whether it was through the TennoCon events that they do every year for TennoCon. Whether it was my friend Matt helping me out. 
You know, I got, I had a lot of shit on there. And I do mean a lot of shit. Yes, I did. But dude, just so much. So much was fucking lost. I uh, dude, I was literally level 800 and something on GTA 5. Now I'm going to have to go back and restart. Because I sank fucking hours into GTA 5 online. Yes. And my Warframe was linked to my... My Warframe account was linked to my account that I now no longer have access to. Because I can't recover the email either. Because whoever stole my shit went in through my emails and did it that way. Honestly, dude, knowing these people, your guess is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine is. I don't even know. And I mean, I get it to some people, you know, these are just games and this and that and da da da. And, you know, and I get it. To some people, you know, to some people it's just a game. But for me, these games are where I met a lot of my closest friends. That's where I met a lot of the people that I'm teammates with. The people that I hang out with on a daily basis. Because honestly, dude, if it wasn't for some of the friends that I made on there, I wouldn't have gotten into the games that I do. Hell, it's because of my best friend Matt that I ended up getting into games like Warframe and Diablo and all these other games. Hell, that's why I play games that are like the games that you guys see like um like super mecha champions and cod warzone and why i see these games like when i go into these games he's the reason why i go in with a strategic mindset i always have a strategy going in right from the moment i land I grab my gear and I formulate a plan right off rip. Or if I'm going into a battle, say I'm playing um say I'm playing an MMO and I'm going into battle. I go in with a strategy of being stacked up and ready to fucking go and do as much damage as I can while maintaining health. Why do you think I have such a strategic mindset? Now, let me show you guys exactly what's going on. Um... 
I'm gonna let you guys see this for yourselves. As you guys can see right there. As you guys can see right there is my Cyrax account, right? Right there. Cyrax hashtag 7137, right? Go here. Put in my password. Go to verify. Grab my controller. I don't have these anymore. There is a problem with your account. Fix it at accountlive.com then come back to sign in. That's what I get every time. And I went through the steps of getting everything fixed. I went through the steps. Go to Microsoft.com slash account link. H M H Z P G two K. One nine zero. And then right here, help secure your account. I don't have these anymore. And then go over here to my stuff. I'm going to go over to my thing real quick. Verify the code. Put in all my information here.
Oh yeah, and then I get that as well. You've reached the limit for your account recovery. Try again in 24 hours. So there you guys go. I have to start over on everything now because of these fucking dickheads. Happy early Thanksgiving, dude, and same thing I do every year, man, just hang out with my family and friends here at the house. I don't know what we're going to do this year. By the way, let me show you guys proof that these trolls are genuinely trying to hold me back. Like, you know how I'm always talking about how these guys don't want me to make money, right? You guys know how I'm always talking about how, like, oh, they don't want me to make money, this, that, and the other, right? Well, let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. This was posted by William Glory Hole last night. Well, yesterday. And this is on his fucking YouTube channel. This is on his community tab on YouTube. Now you guys can't sit there and tell me that this isn't fucked up. On every goddamn level.
You guys cannot sit there and tell me that this, this right here, is not beyond fucked up. You can't tell me that this ain't fucked up. On every fucking level. This is how sick in the head this motherfucker is. That's how delusional this sick fuck really is. And honestly, he needs to be dealt with. But the problem is, my family doesn't have the money to deal with scumbags like this. Oh no, I do song covers as well, dude. I do song covers and everything, man. I do the whole nine. I do song covers. I do gameplay shit. I do all kinds of stuff. But now you guys know how sick and twisted and fucked up this William Glory Hole guy really is. Now you guys know the fucking truth. He's a sick fuck that needs to be dealt with. Now you guys know the truth. This man is a fucking sicko. These are the kinds of losers that I fucking deal with every day. People that try to fucking hold me back. And I know a lot of people keep asking me, where do I put that anger when I'm pissed? What do I do when I'm pissed? Well, let me fucking show you.
everything you hope for. Let's do this. talk to you guys for a minute man because I want to be honest man I want to be honest with you guys for those of you that care I want to be honest with you guys for those of you that don't care you guys can fuck off because this ain't for you people like you Kano and those of you that actually care about me and care about my well-being I'm gonna be honest I'm not okay for the past five years I've been depressed I don't know what to do I don't know how to fight this shit I don't know how to stop William and these people from doing what they're doing to me, I don't know how to make it fucking stop. And honestly, I wish I knew how to make it stop. I do, I wish to God I fucking knew how to make it all fucking go away. Because getting off the internet doesn't fucking work. They attack me in real fucking life. And every time I'm on here, they steal my content. And they make it hard for me to make an honest fucking living. Doing what I fucking do best. With my music, my artwork, and everything that I'm actually fucking good at. 
These people don't want me making fucking money. And it pisses me off. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to you guys that support me. It's not fair to my friends. And it sure as fuck ain't fair to my family. Who I'm trying to provide an honest fucking living for. You think I like having to hide my work? No, I fucking hate it. You think I like having to hide what I fucking do? No, it pisses me off. I shouldn't have to hide what I fucking do. This shit needs to stop. William Glory Hall and all his friends need to be fucking stopped. They need to be shut down and I don't know how to fucking do it. So I'm going to be honest, I'm not okay. And I'm not going to be okay until I get my fucking life back that William and them fucking stole from me. I'm not going to be okay until they get shut down and are dead in the fucking ground or are in jail. Because what they're doing is fucking illegal. And it's fucked up. Here's the thing, it don't need to be fucking happening, period. It don't need to be fucking happening. At all. Period. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not okay, and I'm never gonna be okay. Not until these people get stopped, and they pay for what they've done. That's the only way I'm going to be okay. That's the only way I will ever be able to live my life in peace. Is knowing that they can't fuck with me anymore. Or fuck with you guys. Or my friends. Or my family. I want these guys wiped off of the fucking internet for good. And if not wiped off the internet, at least be make at least make it to where they can't fuck with me or you guys or my friends or family anymore. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I'm tired of holding back how I really feel. I'm tired of hiding the fucking truth. Something needs to be done. How many people have to suffer before they're stopped? Huh? How many people have to suffer and take their own lives? How many people have to be fucking victimized before it stops? How many people have to take their own lives? How many people have to suffer? Because I'm going to tell you right now, man. Because of these people, a couple years ago, I attempted suicide twice. Because of these fucking people, I attempted suicide twice. And let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. It wasn't fun. You don't know how many times I lie awake at night bawling my fucking eyes out, wishing it would fucking stop. Wondering, why me? Why does it have to be me that gets fucked with? Why can't these people be stopped? Why won't somebody like me step up and fucking say something?
one of the authorities refused to step up and take action. Because what these people are doing is fucked up and it's wrong and it is illegal on every fucking level. Don't believe me? Wayne Goryhole is currently violating my Fourth Amendment right to make a fucking living. By sitting there doing everything he can to keep me from making a living and earning an honest job living, he's violating the Fourth Amendment. Because the Fourth Amendment literally is there so you can make fucking money without being attacked. And he's violating that. Not to mention slander, defamation of character. The list can go on and on forever. I can make a whole fucking list of everything that they've done that's illegal. So my, my question is this. Why is nobody besides me stepping up? Why is everybody so fucking chicken shit to step up? Actually, no, I can't. They ruined that for me, dude. They ruined me getting a regular job. By sending people around my town... Spreading lies about me. They ruined that shit for me. So this shit right here. Is all I got. My artwork. My music and my gaming. Is all I got. I don't got nothing else. This is all I got. And believe me dude. I do know because I've tried. Several times I've tried. And every single one of them turned me away because of the shit they spread about me. This right here is all I fucking got. I don't have nothing else. I literally don't have a choice but to make this fucking work. Trust me when I say, I have worked my ass off. I have worked my ass off for this. And there's no way in hell I'm giving it up. I have worked my ass off for over a fucking decade to make a living doing what I love. And no, some of us don't have it like that, man. You might have it like that. And because you have it like that, I'm proud of you. I'm happy that you got it like that. But people like me ain't got it like that. I wish I had it like that. Every place I go to to get a job, they turn me away. Because they know who I am now. They see these videos, and every place I go to turns me away. Every time. They're the reason. These trolls are the reason my biological father got fired from his job. Why my friend Brendan, God rest his soul, because he's no longer with us. These trolls are the reason why he lost his job as well. Because they called up there until they got fired. And I'm sick of living like this.
Oh, trust me, dude. The area I'm in is a very small place. Because we're a college town, so we're not that big. And around here, word travels fast. Word travels real fast around here. Hell, I can't even go down the road or go outside without my neighbors giving me weird stares now because of these fucking sick people. There's only one neighbor, only one neighbor on my block that I'm still cool with. All the rest of them, I go down the street, they give me nasty fucking stares and say fucked up shit to my face every time. And you know how hurt that makes me feel? The very neighbors that I've known for over 10 years now turned on me. Because of all these fucking lies. Like I said, you wish I'm not mad at you. So don't take it. So please don't take it that I'm mad at you. I'm pissed at what these people are doing to me and how they're ripping off of you guys. Because when they steal from me, they steal from you. And when they steal from you, that's where I have a problem. Because when they rob me, When they rob me of opportunities to make content and merchandise that you guys enjoy. And they keep me from being able to release my music that you guys want to hear. They're not just stealing from me. They're stealing from you guys. They're stealing the music that you guys need and that you guys want. The merchandise that you guys want. The t-shirts. The artwork that you guys want me to release. They're stealing from you guys. So if anything, y'all should be more pissed off than I am. Because when they're stealing from me, they steal from you. How are you not pissed off? How are you not pissed off at them? Because I know if my favorite artist was getting treated that way, you could bet your ass I'd be stepping up and saying something. Because if I saw my favorite artist or my favorite streamer going through what I'm going through, I would find out the person that's doing it and I would step up and I would fucking say something. I wouldn't be a chicken shit sitting there behind my screen hiding. And making the excuse of, oh, well, I don't want them to dox me. I don't want them to do this. I don't want them to do that. Man, fuck that. If you guys ain't okay with what these people are doing, then step up and say so. Don't just sit there and be quiet. Step up and say something to them. Spread word to your friends, your family. Say something about these people. Don't just sit there. Because when you sit there and you stay quiet, you become a part of the problem. When you step up and say something, you become a part of the solution. So my question to you is this. Are you going to be part of the problem and remain silent? Or are you going to step up and be part of the solution and say something? Do you know how many good people I've watched die because of these sickos? Do you know how many people have attempted suicide because of these people? More than I can fucking count. But yet they get to get away with it. 
I mean, doesn't that piss you off that they get away with this shit that they do? The, aren't you pissed that they're robbing you guys of the content that you want to see out of me? Aren't you guys mad and angry that they're keeping me from doing what I need to do for you guys? I know I would be. I would be fucking fuming if I was you guys. The only one who can I, I can honestly say has really stepped up and said something is CIA Hall and my boy Kano. Those are the only ones who have actually stepped up and said something. Why? Because they want to see me do good. They want to see me succeed. But how am I going to do that when everybody's always getting in my way? Think about it. It doesn't just affect me. It affects my friends, my family, and most of all, it affects you guys, my fan base. Somebody needs to do something. Because I'm not going to stand for it anymore. My question is, why is everybody such a fucking chicken shit? Why are you guys so scared to step up and say something? So what? They put your info out there. Big fucking whoop. My info's been out there for fucking years. And you think I give a fuck? So what? They got my number. They got my address. They send stupid shit every now and then. Big fucking whoop. You know what you do with that shit? They send you dumb shit. Throw it away. Or give it to somebody else that you know would want it. Or if they send you a stupid fucking letter that you know is harassment. Say something. Well, too bad, Rackin' Warrior. If you don't like the fact that I'm actually saying how I really fucking feel and what needs to be done, then get the fuck out of here right now. Because this place is for the real ones that want to see me do better. This is for those that have the fucking balls. To actually step up and say something to these people. Hey Rackin, sit and rotate you stupid faggot. Get the fuck out of here then. Bitch. Anybody else want to get banned? Anybody else want to show how fake they are? I'm tired of the fakes. I'm sick of it. Anybody else want to step up? Let's go. Alright, come on. Wake up, people. You guys should be mad at this right here. You guys should be angry at this. Pissed at this.
But yeah, you're just gonna let it slide. This dude gets to say this shit. And yeah, you guys get to let it slide. You guys are just gonna sit there and not say anything, right? You can't, you guys can't sit there and tell me that this right here above me doesn't piss you off. You can't say that it don't piss you off. Right here, this. You think I'm not pissed? You guys should be just as pissed as I am. Because this is proof that they're trying to hold me back. Right here. Right here's the proof, motherfuckers. Right here. Right there's the goddamn proof. Wake the fuck up. And stop being silent. Cause I'm telling y'all right now. If this shit continues. I am going to delete my kick. If I don't see you motherfuckers. Starting to stand up for me the same way I would you guys. I'm going to start banning a whole lot of motherfuckers. And if that's the case, then guess what? I may stop doing streams altogether. Because let me tell you right now, I would stand up for every single person in the chat right now. Every single one of you I would stand up for. Every one of you, I would stand up for. And I would defend without question. But yeah, you guys don't do that for me. Why? Because you're scared of some punks on the internet? Man up. You guys sit there and say that you're fans, but are you really? Are you really fans? Or are you just here to watch? Are you just here to watch me get pissed? And if that's the case, if you're just here to watch me get mad, then get the fuck off my stream. Now. If you want to see me do better, then step up and say something. Fucking do something to help make it stop. I'm not attacking my fans. I'm trying to get them to step up and say something. Because let me tell you right now, Jedi Monk 23. Any one of these people that are in the chat right now, besides the one that I banned. Every single person in here, I would step up for and I would defend at a moment's notice. Without question. So my question is this, why aren't they doing the same for me that I would do for them? Why aren't they doing for me what I would do for them at a moment's fucking notice? Without question. And it's pretty odd, ain't it? It's pretty fucking odd, ain't it? What have I done? Every time somebody gets attacked, I defend them. 
Don't believe me? Look at the live streams where I went on and said something. Every time the fucking trolls have attacked somebody, you know what I did? I sat there and I stood up and I said something. I didn't sit on the sidelines like some punk bitch. I stepped up and I said something and I defended them. Don't believe me? Look at the fucking streams. Go back on Marty's stream and all these other streams that I've been on where I've defended people. Don't believe me? Go fucking look. It's all right there, motherfuckers. Every last bit of it. I'm tired of being walked on. I'm tired of being stepped on. I'm tired of motherfuckers telling me what I can and can't fucking do. I'm sick of being held back. And you know, you guys want to know why I'm pissed off all the time? This shit is the reason why. Because for the past five years, I've been victimized, dehumanized, extorted, harassed, bullied, attacked. You name it, I've had it done to me. I've been illegally entrapped and then extorted. And you guys wonder why I have trust issues? Well, there's your answer. These guys are why. I want to show you guys something. I want to show you what my life was like before the trolls. This right here, this right here, you see this? This was my life before the trolls. This was me before the trolls. Before all that shit started, that was me. And so was this. That was me before the troll shit started. Five years ago, this picture right here, this was me. I had everything. I had a great career building up. I had the love of my life who I went to high school with since fucking ninth grade. That I was actually engaged to. I had 
a life. I had a life that these people stole from me. I had everything I could have asked for and more. I had everything I could have asked for. No. Dude, no. Me and her were the same fucking age, dude. I dated that chick since fucking high school, bro. Me and her went to the same goddamn high school. You want to know how well I had it for my career? Take a look at this. This is what I was doing before the troll shit. You see that name right here at the bottom that I'm circling? Right here, this bottom name. That was from back in 2018 when I was actually able to go out. I was able to perform my music. I was able to fucking do shit. This is what I used to be able to do. Go out, perform my shows, and have a good time. And do what I needed to do. But now, I'm stuck inside, every fucking day. Because I got motherfuckers following me around. I got people following my family around, everywhere we go. You guys think you know, but trust me when I say, unless you've lived in my shoes, you don't understand how far these people are willing to go to fuck me over. You have no idea how bad it actually is. I mean, dude, there was a point in time where one of them literally sent a dead baby pig to our house. And here's the thing, I'm not an IRL streamer. I don't do that shit, that's not me. I know a few people that do that, and they're good at what they do, but for me, that's not what I'm into. That's not what I'm about. Like I said, y'all really don't understand how bad these people are. Like I said, at one point a couple years ago, they literally were sick and disgusting enough to send a dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack to my fucking house. Do you know how disgusting that is?
Do you know how disgusting that is? To get a dead baby pig still in the mother's fetal sack in a fucking box sent to your house? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm all for horror. I love horror movies. I love doing dark, creepy artwork. But dude, I fucking threw up when I saw that shit. Do you know how disgusting that is? I literally threw up when I saw that shit. Oh really, they can't harm me? Then how do you explain me being shot at? If they can't harm me, then why did Marty come to my fucking town and assault the fuck out of me? If they can't harm me, then why did Marty come here and assault me? Why did I have somebody shooting at me through my fucking bedroom window? Which thankfully they missed. Because had I been laying there, I'd be fucking dead right now. So you tell me. Yo, guess what? Now I got another fucking enemy. William Glory Hole and N-Word Boy. Those are my two biggest fucking enemies right now. And the problem is, I don't know how to fight them. Why? Because they fucking hide. I wish I knew how to fight them. I wish I knew how to get them to stop. But I don't. I don't know anybody that's good enough with computers to help fight them. Yeah, you're right. They won't attack me like that. You know what they'll do? They'll do everything they can to keep me from making money. They're the reason why my Twitch, why all my shit that I try to make money from gets shut down. My merch shop that I had up for you guys, yeah, they're the reason it got shut down. Because they go in and they mass report it to keep me from making money. And to keep you guys from getting what you deserve. The merchandise that you guys want to get your hands on. And where is that fair to you guys? Forget about me making money. Where is that fair to you guys that y'all don't get the merch that you guys fucking want to get? Instead, you got fake motherfuckers out here making merch with my face on it without my consent or my fucking say so or knowledge. The only person I have ever given the okay to make anything of me of is fucking Dark Side Becky. Because Dark Side Becky doesn't try to go at me the way these other people do. Oh yeah. Go on the William Glory Hall's fucking community wall. Go to their fucking their fucking Reddits. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about, dude. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You start scrolling through William Glory Hall's community page feed, you'll see exactly what I mean. Go through their Reddits. Go through their community pages. Hell. Even go through their Odyssey pages, their Tumblr pages, their... Their Steam pages. Go through everything and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's all right there. Here's the thing. When I first started this shit, dude, I knew I would have haters. I knew that. And I was prepared for that. But what I did not sign up for... Is to have my life and my family's lives put in danger. I didn't sign up for that. 
I didn't sign up to be shot at or assaulted. I didn't sign up to be illegally entrapped and then shit on. Actually, no it's not. Because what you guys don't realize, I know a lot more about the laws when it comes to copyright shit than you guys seem to think. I actually know a lot more about that than a lot of people seem to think. When you create a piece of, like, let's say, for example, you wish 2323, 20, 20, let, let me put it into perspective for you. Alright? Let's say that, for prime example, let's say that you're an artist, you know, and you draw pictures and you do artwork. And you're on your live stream, and you're drawing your artwork, and you're doing your thing. That artwork, and that stream, is your intellectual property. They are not allowed to use that, or your image, that you have. For prime example, if you make a movie, and you star in that film, right? Let's say you do a solo movie, right? And you're in that film. Or you do for selfies. Or whatever. That photo is your intellectual property. When you like. Let's say for example. If you take a photo right now. Of you and you post it on the internet. That photo is your intellectual property. And when somebody goes around. And they use that without your permission. You can legally sue the fuck out of them. Why? Because they are committing copyright infringement. Because that photo is your intellectual property. Your image is your intellectual property. From birth, that is your property. That is your right. That is true. And you are right about that. But there's a difference from take. For prime example. Take what Bay Shaman does. What he does is fair use. What Bay Shaman does. Commenting on it. Reacting. That's fair use. What these people are doing. Going around using my image to make merchandise. Alright, making action figures of me without my consent or knowledge, using my name, image, and likeness without my consent or knowledge, that I can get them on. Because they have done that. They have made action figures without my consent or knowledge, without paying me to use my likeness and my image. And that's exactly what they do. They go around. Hell. They've literally got video games of me. That I should be paid for. There's a lot of stuff. That they've made of me. That I should be getting paid for. But I'm not getting paid for. Why? Because they don't want to see me make bank. They don't want to see me get paid. Daily times, I've watched people sit there and open up action figures on me. Dude, my name is copywritten from Bird. Do you know how many times I've tried to take shots at these guys, telling them to back off? They don't care. These people, dude, you don't get it. These people give zero fucks about the law. They don't fucking care. These people do not give a fuck about the law. That's the thing. They're not using that name. They're going around using my original name. And using my face and my name and my image. They're using my real name. And running with it. And getting fucking paid. Alright, forget about the name. 
the fact that they're using my name and my face alone without my consent or knowledge, that's illegal. That is very much illegal. Matter of fact, let me look this up real quick. All right, so right now, let me see. Um, laws regarding the unauthorized use of someone's name, image, or likeness without their consent vary by country to country, in the um, by country by country and state. In the U.S., for example, the right of publicly of publicity generally protects individuals from the unauthorized use of their identity for commercial purposes. This means that using someone's name, image, or likeness for commercial gain without their permission can lead to legal action. The laws may also vary depending on whether the individual in question is a public figure or a private individual. Infringement on these rights could result in a civil lawsuit where the affected individual can seek damages and junctions to stop further unauthorized use or, or other remedies. Additionally, in some cases, there may be criminal penalties. Especially if the unauthorized use involves fraud or other criminal activities, which Marty has done. Marty has done that. This man, if y'all don't know, this man has actually gone out of his way. This man has actually gone out of his way to actually open up a credit card in my name. Without my knowledge or my consent. Which I have shown that multiple times. Here's the thing. When I do these song covers. I don't do them to make money. I do them to pay my respects to the artists. Or the fans that I fucking respect. I do that to show my respect and gratitude towards that people. I don't do the covers to make money. I do it to show my respects. 
and to show that I appreciate what these artists and these bands have done for music. What these bands and artists have done for hip-hop, have done for pop, have done for rock, have done for metal, have done for hip-hop and rap and all these other styles. I do it to show my respect. There's a difference. When I do these Lincoln Park covers, I do that to show my respect for the man that inspired me. Here's how. Because there, and then, let me explain something to you. There's a reason why I do these covers and why I'm not able to do my own work. You want to know why? People like William Glory Hole stealing my motherfucking music. That's why. People want me out here doing my own shit. They want me out here doing my own music. But how am I supposed to do that when I got a motherfucker stealing my work and getting the copyrights to it? How am I supposed to do that? And if you want proof of them stealing my music, let me show you. Now, y'all recognize that right there? And here's the thing, dude. I don't get paid from Kick. I don't know what people think that I'm getting paid from, but I've not made any money yet. I've not made one single dime off of my Kick. Not one. But anyways, back to what I was saying. See that name right there? That's my name with some of the letters reversed. Take the W and the CH and switch those. You got my first and last name. Even further proof that they steal my music. Take a listen. Yo, here we go. Light them up, boys. Rev those engines. Let's go. Rev the engines, here we go. Cruising around town window, where they go. Now, whose voice do you think that is? Sure as fuck ain't theirs. That's a my motherfucking voice. And you're probably asking, well, how did they do it? That's easy. They stole the song and ran it through fucking TuneCore so that they get paid and I make nothing. Don't believe me that that's the only one they're stolen? Take a look. They've stolen tons. You got that one. You got all of these. All my fucking shit. 
right there. Using my face right here. Every little fucking bit of this shit. They're doing to me. They're stealing my shit. And getting away with it. My image. My likeness. My face. My music. You name it. That's why I'm not able to perform my songs for you guys. Because of these assholes. And a contract generally costs about anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars, which I don't have. Oh, gee, look right here, my face on merch. Actually, no, these were not made by Dave Shaman. These were made by motherfucking William Glory Hole and fucking Inward Boy. Now, speaking of which, let's go to the shop. Okay, maybe it was made by Dave Shaman. Never mind. Because I'm looking right here. But still, what's up with that? Because I can't afford one, dude. I literally have no money. I have no way to make any kind of fucking money to do it. Yeah, and guess whose music he's fucking jacking? My shit. My face, my image, my motherfucking likeness. Taking what I'm doing and destroying me and making me look like shit. Need I say anything more? Cause right there's your motherfucking proof that I'm being ripped off. And that's not even counting the Spotify shit, the TuneCore shit. That's just over on fucking Facebook. Or not on Facebook, but on YouTube, dude. That's not even counting all the songs that they stolen from me and released on Spotify, on Amazon, on iTunes. Why do you think I don't get to release the music that I want to release for you guys? Because of these morons. Because I don't have money to be able to afford to do a copyright. I can't afford to be able to do a copyright. And believe me, I wish I did. I wish I had the money to be able to do it. Alright, so answer me this. Where is the fair that these people get to make money and I don't get to make a damn fucking dime? Where is it right that they get to make money and I don't get to make jack shit? 
Where is that right? Where is that fair? Where is that even okay? I mean, I'm out here working my ass off every fucking day. I have songs lined up to where I could probably make two or three fucking albums. Easily. But guess what? I don't get to release them. Why? Because of these sick fucks wanting to ruin it all. Wanting to take my music and copyright it. Hell, they've even taken a couple EDM songs that I've done. See if I can find it. Right here's one of my songs. I don't chill like that. I don't chill like that. Um, let me go down and find mine. Where the fuck is my shit at? Oh, that runs right here. I don't shit like this. Influenced by 
my trends, my flow that be the tightest. Now what's up with my riders? We snatching up them titles. They worship us like idols, cause my vinyl it goes viral. Fresh pair of jeans with a new white tee. Red and black keys with a 23. Crank it up like hydraulic jacks. Handing out heart attacks with my starter cap. Now put your hands up, better keep them up. Regular label pockets ain't deep enough. I'm in first place like Usain Bolt. Them slow poke rappers ain't keeping up. Wait for it, wait for it, here it comes. Wait for it, wait for it, here it comes. Wait for it, wait for it, here it comes. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the beat drop. Wait for it, wait for it, here it comes. Wait for it. Wait for it, here we come. Wait for it, wait for it, here we come. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the beat drop. Wait for it, wait for it, here we come. Wait for it, wait for it, here we come. Wait for it, wait for it, here we come. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the beat drop. Now y'all can't tell me that y'all ain't sitting there fucking banging your heads to that shit. And as far as the guitar goes, I actually have a Glary with Stratocaster pickups. Ah. Bye, bitch. Ah, uh, here we go. Alright, come on, dude. This is the kind of shit that I first got known for right here. Are you ready? Then Not really. And this song right here, I literally took the basic bear fucking bones of every genre of EDM music and did this. With no vocals. And the top, it all off. Let's go here. 
Let's go back. This is what I used to be about. This shit right here, all this music I'm showing you, is shit that I was doing before the troll shit started, dude. Every last fucking bit of it. But yet, I don't get to make my music. I don't get to do shit that I need to do. Do you know how badly I would rather focus on my music, focus on my artwork, and putting out merch for you guys? Do you have any idea how bad I would love to do that? How bad I would love to give back to my roots and make music and do the shit that I need to do? Do you have any idea how badly I want that? Trust me, I want it more badly than y'all seem to think. I would love to give back to my fucking roots and focus on my music and creating music and doing what I need to be doing. But I can't do that because of these fucking assholes going around stealing my shit. And I have no money for to be able to afford a copyright. I can't do jack shit because of these people. I can't afford a copyright. I can't afford shit. I mean, shit. I'm still trying to pay off my fucking lawyer from back in June, dude. So I literally have no money. I have nothing. All I got is my music and this. And that's it. My music, my artwork, and this. That's all I've got going for me. But yet, I can't do any of those without getting ripped off. You see the problem? I try to make money on here. Or in some way... By selling merchandise, by creating music, by doing something to where I can get paid and actually get a legitimate copyright. Okay? But I can't do that because these trolls do everything they can by mass reporting me. I make a shop, they mass report me and shut it down. I start to do good on Twitch and start to make money. They go in and shut it down. They do everything they can to keep me from making money. That way I can afford a copyright so I can do what I need to do for you guys. But yet, I don't get to do that because of these fucking assholes. So, I mean, if someone's got the answer to that, the legitimate answer, 
on a way to put a halt to this shit, like, that, instantly, then please, fucking step up, speak up, tell me what to do, because I don't know what the fuck to do, if somebody has the fucking answer, don't just sit there and be silent, fucking say something, because I'm tired of not being able to focus on my music. I'm tired of every song that I create not being able to be released because of these fucking jerkwads that want to steal from me every fucking day of the week. I'm sick of it, dude. I'm tired of it. I want to be able to go out and play shows like I used to. I want to be able to provide merch for you guys, provide albums for you guys, and have fun doing it. But how am I supposed to do my job as a music artist and as a fucking DJ when I can't even fucking release my own shit? Because these people want to fucking steal my shit. You see my problem? You see the issue there? I can't afford to get a copyright. I can't afford anything. I have nothing but my word. And what I'm actually able to do. Which is my music, my artwork, and my merch. And doing videos on here. That's all I got. I got nothing else. I can't do anything else. So, somebody needs to come up with a fucking solution and quick because I'm tired of just sitting around not being able to do shit I'm sick and tired of just sitting here and not doing nothing it drives me fucking nuts not being able to create my music and do what I need to do like it literally drives me up the fucking wall knowing that I have good music that I know you guys would love but I don't get to release it because these people, every time I release it, they fucking steal it and get the copyrights to it. It drives me up the fucking wall, man. It really does. It drives me fucking nuts. Because like I said, we're still paying off my fucking lawyer from back in June. We're still working on paying him the 2500 that we owe. We're still working on paying that off. So we don't have money like that right now. We don't got money. My family ain't got money. I ain't got money. We're broke as fuck. So, I mean, if somebody genuinely has an answer on how to legitimately make this shit stop and not give me the same bullshit answer of do this, do that, get off the internet, do this, do that. Like, if somebody has a legitimate fucking answer on how to shut these guys down, then please fucking tell me. Because I'm tired of sitting here stagnant, not doing nothing. It's driving me up the goddamn wall, dude. It's driving me fucking crazy. Now, if you guys will excuse me, and I mean this in no offensive way, but if you guys will excuse me, i got to try to figure out a way to fucking get my shit going. And if anybody has an answer to the question... If anybody has an actual answer on how I can start doing shit, let me know, please. And yo, Kano, um, I will catch you on my Facebook Live, bro. Because I do plan on going on Facebook and going live sometime today. I don't know when, but I am going to be over there, so you'll be able to hang out with me over there. Alright. Oh, you did? Okay, I'll have to check.
But if anybody has an answer on how I can start doing my music and make it to where they can't get their hands on it, please let me know. Because I'm tired of them jacking my shit and I'm tired of them getting paid for my work and what I do. Yo, real 24, 24, 7. Are you talking about on Facebook? Is that where you send the messages on Facebook? Because if so, I actually am not able to answer for three days because I actually ended up getting banned from messaging anybody for three days. So I'm not able to do anything. Like, I'm literally not able to do anything for three days. Like, I'm literally banned from messaging anybody for three days. Which fucking sucks. I literally don't get to do shit for three days. I'm literally cut off from all my friends for three fucking days. Like, I can't call nobody, I can't text nobody, I can't do shit. I'm literally banned on Facebook from calling, messaging, anything of that nature. I can't do it. The only way I can reach out, the only friends I can reach out to are those that have Xbox. Are my friends that I have on Xbox, and that's it. That's the only way I can reach out to my friends, either that or on my personal Instagram. And that's it. That's the only way I can reach out to my friends right now for the next three days. Which fucking sucks. But anyways, guys, if anybody out there has... If anybody out there has a legitimate answer on how... I can start making money despite these trolls trying to shut me down... Let me know, please, because I am sick and tired of sitting here and doing my music and doing my artwork and doing merch and having designs ready to go and prints of my artwork ready to go, but not being able to sell it or make money off of it. I seriously need fucking help. This shit needs to stop. We need to get me the fuck out of this goddamn rut. And back to where I need to be, which is making music, selling art prints, doing artwork, and doing merch for you guys. That's what needs to fucking happen. I'm tired of just sitting around, y'all. So like I said, if anybody has any... If anybody has an answer on what to do, send it to me on Facebook, and then... Whenever I can get back to messaging in three days, I'll message you guys back. Um, if you guys have my email, email it to me. Uh, for those very, 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 very select few of you that have my Instagram, send it to me over on Instagram and I'll message you back right away. But until then, guys, I need to figure shit out. I need to figure out a way to stop this shit because I can't do this no more. I'm tired of these motherfuckers getting away with this shit. I'm sick of it, dude. I'm tired of motherfuckers sitting here using me to make money and me not getting paid for my work. I'm sick and tired of motherfuckers getting away with making it to where I can't make fucking money and doing shit to fuck me over. I'm tired of motherfuckers stealing from you guys, my motherfucking fan base. Because when they steal from me, they steal from you guys. And I'm not okay with that. Because I know a lot of you guys want to be able to buy my music. And buy my albums. And buy my merch. And listen to my music. And when they steal from me and keep me from doing that. That's where they're stealing from you guys. 
they're stealing from you guys because they're making it to where y'all don't get to buy the merch that you want that you guys want. You guys don't get to buy the music that you guys want to buy from me. You guys don't get to hear the music that you guys want to hear from me. And where is that fair to you guys? Like I said, I'm tired of this shit. Something needs to happen. So if anybody needs anything, I'll be over here trying to figure shit out. If you guys need me, you guys know what to do. Reach out to me if you guys got any answers, man. I love you guys. And honestly, for those of you that are doing good for yourselves, I'm proud of you. I hope you guys keep on going forward with whatever it is that you want to do with your life. And I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.